In this video, we'll discuss how to complete a lesson from the Vocabulary Skills Unit for English 7. Looking in the My Bay Campus Bundle, you can see the list of vocabulary lessons here. Each of those is a worksheet designed to help you master skills from the unit. Each is due on a specific day and time. You'll also find up here the Vocabulary Lesson Model Example, showing you exactly how to complete a vocabulary lesson. Let's take a look at a blank lesson. The lesson begins with a root. The root comes from Latin or Greek. It is a part of a word, a part that you will learn and study. The part here is ben, bene, bon. Those look like three different roots, but they are actually the same. They just vary their spelling from word to word. This root comes from the Latin word bene, which means well. It also comes from the Latin word bonus, which means good. These two words and the roots that they generate are related. This can be used as a prefix or a root. That's your lesson for the day. As you look at it, you may recognize it in certain words that you know. Your tasks start with individual work. You must complete some activities by yourself. First, you must find a word that uses that root and determine its part of speech. Link two dictionary definitions from online dictionaries. You must paint, paste a picture into the document that reminds you of the word that you have found in the dictionary and then write a sentence for a caption for that word. Explain the origin of the word in a complete sentence and write it here. Analyze the word for prefix, root, and suffix. Transform it into a different part of speech. Determine the part of speech of that new word and use the word in at least one sentence. Those tasks may have come at you in a flurry, but I will slow down and explain them each in detail. Do not forget to refer to the skills in the Vocabulary Skills Primer, the document on the My Big Campus bundle. Once you've completed all those tasks, you'll group with a partner. You and your partner will do the same tasks over again, but you will find a new word and work together. You must complete work on your own before you can work with someone else. Finally, you will enter your word into the vocabulary spreadsheet shared with you in Google Drive. We'll discuss that last. Let's go back to the My Big Campus bundle and take a look at the model example. The model example is an example of this document completed, and it will show how you might do this. Annotations along the side of the document will give you helpful direction and clarification. The lesson here is just jude jur. It comes from the Latin word just, which means law or right. It also comes from the related Latin word judicare, which means to judge. This piece can be used as a root. In the model example, the word found is judicial. It's an adjective, and these are two dictionary definitions that will help understand the word. The first comes from dictionary.com. The second comes from the free dictionary. Notice that links are made by linking the words, not merely pasting the URLs. Below, you'll see a picture of a courthouse which reminds one of the word judicial. And below that appears a caption using the word judicial. Judicial proceedings often happen in a courthouse of Greek style architecture. The caption uses the word judicial and italicizes it. This caption refers to the picture above. The next task is to explain the origin of the word in a complete sentence and to write that sentence below. The word judicial comes from the Latin word judici which means judgment. This origin statement can be confusing to students at first until you realize that it's a simple formula. The formula is explained here in the annotation. The word blank comes from the language word blank which means blank. Fill in those blanks and you'll be fine. The word judicial comes from the Latin word judici which means judgment. Next, you must analyze the word for prefix, root, and suffix. That means that you can find a prefix, a root, and a suffix and take them apart into separate blanks. Judicial only contains a root and a suffix. How might you find that root and suffix material? Well, take a look in the dictionary. Look at word origins. We'll talk about this in class, but you can use reference material to help you divide a word into prefix, root, and suffix. 
If the word does not contain a prefix or it does not contain a suffix, leave that blank. Remember the note. Full analysis will account for every letter of the word without repeating any letters. The next task is to transform the word into a different part of speech and to type that word below. Judicial becomes judicially. Judicial, as you might remember, was an adjective, and judicially is an adverb. We can also, finally, use the word in a sentence. The judicial branch of the federal government includes the Supreme Court. Notice that the word judicial has been italicized in the sentence. This is an original sentence that uses the word properly. Again, make sure to refer to the vocabulary skills document when completing each of these tasks to make sure that you are doing them properly. Note that in this vocabulary skills document, you'll see the tasks discreetly noted word analysis, reading and dictionary entry, word transformations, and sentence writing. Use this document often and know it clearly. Those are all the tasks that you must complete with the exception of entering into the spreadsheet. Let's take a look at that. The spreadsheet will be sent to you in Google Drive, so look for it there. Here's a spreadsheet. Requires the student to enter the root, the word, the part of speech, definition, prefix, root, suffix, and any transformations. This is a group document. Each student in the class will complete entries. So you may actually complete an entry that is the same word as somebody else. You will do that simply by noting that you did the same word. So, for, exa for example, Let's say that somebody has already entered beneficial as a word, and you see that it has the transformation of benefit, beneficially, and beneficiary. Well, you may have already done one of those words. You may have already picked benefit. If so, there's no need to enter it again. Simply up the number here by one. So this means that you would enter a two. That way, you and the teacher know that multiple students have found the same word. This will keep a spreadsheet of all words found by the class, and will note how many different words may have been found. Enter this information on the spreadsheet last, and you'll be finished with your lesson. That's all for the lesson. Make sure that you're completing the tasks for yourself, then with a partner, then completing information on the spreadsheet. Once you've done that, you're finished.